Never have I been so embarrassed. I have no history of drug use on my background nor have I been ever been arrested for it. Today I was contacted by my supervisor that I was reported for sleeping on the job. Apparently the same person caught me three times. I explained that because I eat a big breakfast, I choose to nap during my lunch break in my car and I never go over my allotted time. My supervisor explained that because it had been multiple times that I was reported, company policy dictated that I take a drug test right then and there in front of the entire office. Luckily it was the mouth swab but I sat in view of everyone for 20 minutes for the results all because I sleep in my car on my unpaid lunch time. Your supervisor is a douchebag and probably violated company policy. Normally companies send an employee somewhere private for a drug test. Sleeping in your car during your lunch is not sleeping on the job. Hell, a boss should not care if you are sleeping on your break even though it's paid. Drug tests should have been in a private area. Honestly I would talk with someone about this. Does your EAP pay for lawyers? I kind of doubt they would care about what you do on your lunch. I'm wondering if whoever reported you claimed it was happening more than that. Sleeping on the job makes it sound that way. If so, I might be more concerned about who was false reporting than the company's response itself. It sounds like your supervisor didn't entertain the accusations the first two times. If he's telling the truth, that means someone has gone to him repeatedly to the point that now he has to investigate it. Who would do something like that? That's weird as hell. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. It's your break. Why is it their business what you are doing on it, especially if it's in your own car? I knew plenty of people who chose to sleep during lunch even myself a couple of times. I would be going above that boss's head about this. It damaged your good name at your place of work when you were innocent of any wrongdoing. The depression lunch at NAP is needed nobody can take that away from me. If you know who reported you and where he parks, you know what to do next. I should probably check myself into rehab, I sleep every day for about 8 hours. Anyway, there are a boodle of studies out there that show employees who take a quick nap after lunch are more productive. Print a few off and drop them strategically around work. Your workplace has a rat problem. Please show me the policy which allows you to claim that lunch breaks are now on the job. If they are, I kindly request all my back pay for all the lunches I've had since I started work here, please. I bet breakfast that it was the supervisor, and not another employee reporting it. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No druggie could take a 30-minute nap, return to work on time, and continue to do their job. This is some douche getting too involved in your buissness and having a power trip. Demand to see this rule, and continue to nap on your unpaid lunches. Don't let them bully you over something so incredibly moronic. Time to find a new job ASAP. They don't care about you. Just laugh, and ask to be paid during the sleep. How is taking a nap during your lunch break sleeping on the job? I'd say you're pretty definitively not on the job if you're on your lunch break. This happened to me before, except I was on drugs, a fuck ton. But I still wasn't hurting anybody and did my job perfectly, I don't understand why anyone cares. As a side note, I used to nap. Turned out I had a massive iron deficiency. Fucking snitches you should have said it's because you're tired from your real job you do at night subreddit what could the job be lol. Should have pissed in his coffee cup while he watched. For an unpaid break to count an employee must be relieved of all work duties and is free to use this time any way they choose. I would instantly get a lawyer. That's humiliating and also an invasion of your time off since you aren't even being paid for it. I would not be taking it lightly if this happened to me tbh. I'd be trying to sue. Publicly humiliate the company by naming them. Court pisses me off so much. Like? Literal BS. Fuck drug testing at work. Why don't Americans recognize this as the gross invasion of privacy that it is? 
Just to let you know, there is nothing wrong with using drugs. I sleep on my lunch break every day in my car. What I do on my own time is none of their goddamn business. Good thing too because I'm high as fuck. Does have cameras in the office? Don't get caught pooping on his desk is all I am saying, turns out it is a crime. Continue napping on your lunch. If the reporting continues, hell, if they eventually fire you for it, you could seriously get rich pretty quickly. How could they assume sleeping was related to drug use? That's ridiculous. I feel like because this was done for a perfectly legal and non-related incident while off the clock this probably is some legal violation of your rights and I'd bet that if you reported it to your state's labor board they'd face some sort of fine and punishment. This reminds me of when some Karen caught some ambulance crew sleeping in their ambulance on shift and recorded it and sent it to the news. They got fired. EMS crews work 12 or 24 hour shifts, and when we're not on a call, we're not on a call. We're not like cops driving around looking for hurt people to rescue. When we get downtime during the day, we nap because we're not going to have time to sleep once the sun goes down. Your supervisor and employer and someone snitch doesn't trust you now. Prepare your resume and get out. I'll be 100 honest with you, I work at a law firm. And we take naps whenever the fuck we can. I'm just a desk jockey but 10 hours days before trials and long weekends. We have two separate rooms where you can go take a nap, it has a locking door and window with shades. Not once has anyone said shit about me putting my head down on my desk. This boss is just being a prick especially if you are on lunch. I made a post that unpaid hour lunches were legalized wage theft and this post really drives it home. So many boot licking replies were like listen to a podcast, go for a walk outside, meditate more. If I'm at work 40 hours a week and only getting paid for 35, something stinks like wage theft. A drug test I in front of the entire office? Oh, my. This is interesting. And by interesting I mean document the hell out of this. Get witnesses since there are so many of them. Did you ask what rule was violated? Are you going to comment on the fact that multiple people have linked to the post on the legal advice sub where you stated you were caught sleeping in the bathroom stall and at your desk, as well as in your car because you are taking too much Zaloft? Your supervisor waited three times to talk to you? Next time your boss says something is company policy. Ask to see the policy, in writing. If it is a policy, it will be written down in a policy document for all to see. Can always find out who reported and get little baggies of sugar flour mix and secretly place them in their possessions and report that person. Petty I know, but you were wrongfully accused and embarrassed. Being able to isolate myself in my car is the only thing I miss about my last job. The idea of someone violating safe space that is sickening. More importantly who is watching you sleep and snitching on you? Sounds like somebody is looking to get you fired. When I was completing a student placement in my undergrad, I would sleep every day on my lunch break right at my desk in our shared team office. Working 16-hour days two jobs, it was some of the only rest I got and the company understood that. I'm sorry your supervisor is an asshole. The leap from napping in the car to assuming you are on drugs is quite the leap. You get a lunch break. This sounds like a wonderful opportunity to update your resume and apply anywhere the fuck else. If I ever report my co-worker for sleeping in their car during lunch fucking take me out back and put a bullet in my head. Jesus fucking Christ. Can I add that I hate the fact that if you want to take a power nap, it has to be out in the car? I live in the northeast. Most of the year it's too hot or cold to sit in a parked car without air heat. I was fasting last spring, without food a nap is the only way of getting energy. So I was just like fuck that I'm going to nap in my cubicle. I put a sign on my desk that said please excuse my napping, I am fasting. 